rebound across the way, 68 years old, and their two teams collide today. App State won the toss and elected to defer, and here we go. Michael Carter on the return. Carter to the 30, breaks away. Carter up the sideline. An entourage of blockers and finally goes down just shy of the 20. Michael Carter on the return of 74 yards for North Carolina. Caden Smith made the tackle. Well, calling for a better start early. This is a team that has started so slow in their first three games. Come from behind in the first two. And the last one, they almost come back and have a chance to win it against Wake. And Michael Carter, if it has anything to do with him, of App State. The throw over the middle, it's complete, and to the end zone! North Carolina to Daz Newsom, 21 yards and a score! The excitement, all the happiness for the guys in blue, it's, it's guys scratching their heads there for Appalachian State. Third down and five. App best of the Sun Belt on third down, 52%, and they've got another one into North Carolina territory, and it was Corey Sutton. Cross your body, and to pull that one back in, secure it, and to move those chains, a huge catch. Thomas is going deep. And it is a catch. Thomas Hannigan against Greg Ross, down at the 11-yard line. How many times did we see this against Wake Forest? Carolina defensive backs being in position, but just getting out jumped. That can get a first down near the two-yard line. Thomas will roll it. Look into the end zone and pressure, and he goes down. Like offensive coordinators try to confuse, that's exactly what's going on with the defensive calls. Jay Bateman and company on the defensive side. 31 yard attempt for Chandler Staten, just his second attempt of the season. He missed one against Charlotte from 31 yards away. And Staten has Appalachian State on the board with his first day field goal of the season. North Carolina just 21% on third down. They're going to try to run this one. They switched it up at quarterback to Jace Ruder. Here you go, a few months later, and he's the new head man. Lots of energy back here in Chapel Hill. If he gets that win today, ties it from for the lead in all-time victories for a head coach at North Carolina. Sacked by Ross down near the goal line. Thomas Hennigan. 30-yard line and beyond it for a first down as DJ Ford made the play for North Carolina but they got six pass play it was his first incompletion of the game for Thomas standing tall in the pocket has to run away makes a cut at the 40 first down and more Zach Thomas has a block down the sideline and Thomas is inside the 15 they'll mark him out right near the 16-yard line Miles Dorn took him out of bounds Slip out. They get the pressure, nice push up front, and then how about this, Zach Thomas making something happen. Then I was about to say, hey, how about the coverage in the secondary? But they're all focused on the receivers. Thomas tucks it and goes to first down and a whole lot more. Like that, you're going down and getting a chance to go ahead. Instead, you're going backwards. First and 20. And dropped for a loss of one. Miles Dorn making a play against Darrington Evans. Feel for the game. Watch it. You, you recognize it. Step up there and make down in 21. And you got to think that App State might be a little bit safe here. They're going towards the end zone. Incomplete pass. 43-yard attempt now from Chandler Staten, who has already made once from 31 yards away to put three more on the board for App State. And Staten is two for two here in the first quarter. And late in the game, outlasted Florida State in the talk is dehydration. Howell's pass is on target to Corrales. Up near the 30-yard line. This run, here's a third down and seven. Howell looks to the right. The pressure comes from behind Howell, and the ball's on the turf. It's scooped up. And running to the end zone for Appalachian State is Taylor. Boy, they love him some Meach. Meach had a sack and a forced fumble against Charlotte. Here he adds to it. Comes, rips that ball out of there. The presence of mind to scoop. There's a little linebacker who makes a lot of plays. 
Although he gets pushed out of the way right there. Nice block up to that second level. And that's a problem that North Carolina has had. 0 for 2 in the game on third down for North Carolina. They are last in the conference on third down conversions, and they're not going to get this one. Maybe a yard and a half for Howell. Nowhere to throw it. It's fourth down. Kiernan will punt. Hennigan is the deep man. Kiernan, the freshman from Dublin, Ireland. Hennigan this time does make the fair catch up near the 21 or 22 yard line. Thomas was the Sunbelt Offensive Player of the Year a season ago. And the MVP in their bowl victory at the New Orleans Bowl. This is Corey Sutton. Miles Dorn forced him out. The yardage favors Appalachian State, and they've got the ball to start our second quarter. Evans will not get much. Might lose a little bit. Loss of four for Evans. With his lid coming off, and watch this defensive line get up and run and string it out. An excellent job. Jason Strobridge in there defensively for North Carolina. Three for five on third down for App, but it's picked off. Right near midfield, Miles Wolfolk has the interception. They're coming, there's the confusion and not getting picked up. The late wraparound by Fox to get there and pressure the quarterback. Thomas, we saw a drop from Dorn earlier. And his counterpart back there in the secondary on this overthrow, Wolfolk goes up and pulls it down. Big play here. Offensively, they got to get something going. Howell deflected and intercepted. It's Demetrius Taylor again. Taylor had the TD return of the fumble in the first quarter, and now he's got the interception for Appalachian State. Touchdown with the sack, the big rip, the force fumble. Look at him refusing to get cut. Comes up. Talk about athleticism. Comes up and tips it to himself, and, and that's a bullet coming at you. It's over on the right side now watching. You know, you play against teams like Georgia Tech, and you work so much on not getting cut, not getting cut. 10 yards for Appalachian State as they close in on the red zone once again. Sutton trying to turn that corner. And he gets knocked out of bounds near the six. They held him to a field goal, second down and goal. They want six right here and try to add to that lead. They're going to try to run it to the end zone and in. Darrington Evans takes it in for Coach Trinkwitz and the Mountaineers from five yards away. Here's the touchdown again. Look at him up front. Got into it a little bit. Trying to bigger bodies there at North Carolina, but some banged up bodies on the old line. Williams trying to submarine his way to the 41 yard line. Could be very close. And he did just that to force a second and 10. Howell still has the football, running right down the middle of the field, sliding his way to the 40-yard line at 15 yards for Sam Howell. Sliding is too valuable to this football team. It's a long season and a nice job, nice play on a misdirection on a keeper by that quarterback. They need five here now. Already have converted on third down this drive. Howell over the middle near the 25-yard line, looking for Corrales, and a flag is out. Here with the hurry up. Mountaineers not quite all the way set. Howell incomplete to Groves. Trying to hit him on the run over the middle. First time in the game, but fourth down for North Carolina. They're going to go. They're going to try to run it and get it. Javante Williams battering his way inside the 15. He got four yards on the play. Four new downs for North Carolina. Can get a first down at the three-yard line. Not a clean exchange between Howell and Carter. And that brings up fourth down for North Carolina. 25 yards away for Noah Ruggles. Six of eight on the season. And he chips that one through. And North Carolina gets points. Charlie Heck tried to tape it up for UNC last week and just couldn't go with that broken hand. Here's a second and short. And Nice surge and pickup. The TDs and a couple of field goals in the first half for the Mountaineers. A defensive fumble recovery return touchdown in the first quarter as well. That pocket collapses on Thomas. Has to run it and throw it up near midfield and complete. 
Malik Williams makes the catch and a first down Mountaineers. Storm duck on the tackle and a flag is out. That was the last experience. Not necessarily on this field because it's a new synthetic turf. Natural grass last year at the end of the season for North Carolina. Evans breaks through down the sideline. Evans right near the pylon and out of bounds just short of it. In fact, they may mark him up near the five. Here with the Broncos too. Take a look at this guy who he says is the best he's been around. Puts his foot in the ground. Runs behind those big blocks of the offensive line, and it's off to the races and almost beats everybody to the corner. Let's take a look now at that right side. Look at him pop up and move. The athleticism in the pop from the offensive line. 31 yards on that run for Evans. Gets swallowed up. The football rests at the two-yard line of North Carolina. Tenth play of the drive for F State. They're going to pitch it out to Evans, and he walks into the end zone. Terrence and Evans, his second rushing touchdown of the game for the Mountaineers. Rushing touchdown of this game in his sixth of the season, untouched, and into the end zone for the Mountaineers on the pitch from Thomas. 27-10, late in the second in Chapel Hill. I'd like for those fourth quarter heroes to start right now and put together a nice little drive and go get seven. Howell's pass. It was a catch in traffic from Daz Newsom, but a loss of three yards. You're kind of limited, though, in really what you can do. We're not making excuses here at all, but offensive line... Again, even that is quick. Brown's first catch of the game went for seven yards. Howell in a cluttered pocket over the middle and complete right back to Deami Brown. you got to watch that clock today, Tar Heels. We all know the story at the end of that Deacon game. Howell's pass, completed to 40, move made by Tucker, and to the 30-yard line, Carl Tucker, the tight end, for 16 yards from Sam Howell. Cutting and bringing it back in, but that clock continues to tick. Two timeouts left, though, for Howell. Another pass for Howell, complete near the 15-yard line, right on the numbers to Bo Corrales, who hangs on to the football after getting tackled by Sean Jolly. A little velocity on this last pass, James. Absolutely. Plenty of time, the protection up front. And just in the, in the middle of that zone, just threads that needle. A nice throw and catch. Where the rubber meets the road. Can they punch it in? Can they find a way? Howell backs up and tosses it. This is Carter. Has a block. Carter to the corner of the end zone. And he high steps his way in for the North Carolina touchdown. Nice job. Watch Big 63, Montalus. He's going to get out there and lead the way. Gets the outside shoulder. Defensive all kinds of success here early in this one. Five of eight for App State. Let's see what they can do here on third down and nine. Thomas's pass is caught by Sutton. He spun around at the 25. Sutton up near the 35-yard line. That's where he had to get to. Interception by the same guy who... Got that fumble for the touchdown, Demetrius Taylor. Howell. That pocket just falls in on Howell. Demetrius Taylor was first on the scene. That's just when it looked like this offensive line was starting to gel. I heard him a couple times on that last drive. Here they do a better job with it. Howell sheds one man. Throws it up to the 30 to Corrales. And they're going to continue to fight. Both these teams are going to have to match blow for blow. But most importantly, hold on to that football. Williams into North Carolina territory and a first down. Seventh catch of the game for Sutton on the previous play. Thomas over the middle and incomplete near the 30. Slipping through the hands of Jalen Virgil with Trey Morrison. Drake all over him. So Xavier Sabat, who did not see the field in the first half with his second punt of this quarter, is going to bounce and be down right near the one-yard line. A loss of one or two. Go get me a couple. He gets five there to give him some breathing room off that goal line. Going to run it again. Cut it up the middle near the 15-yard line and a first down. But with a little bit of a running game mixed in. Here they've got the running game, so they got to lean on it a little bit more and stick with it until they stop it. Oh, it's second and two. It's a first down past the 30 for Williams. The play caller will just go away from it. Until they show me that they're going to stop it, 
just keep on ramming it down their throat, and it opens up everything else. Howell lost the football. It's free at the 35. And North Carolina has successfully recovered. Having one heck of a football. I mean, it's one thing to be a good football player, but to be a big playmaker, the guy goes out there and make, just changes the game around, makes plays. Maybe didn't see it coming that time. When it gets traffic, you got to protect the football. Third and eight. This pass to Groves. They're going to mark him at the 44, and that should be a first down that it is. Blowing it up instead makes it a third down and short. Nice play, though, by the back. They need three. Second effort after the initial contact by Williams. Trying to bear down. It looks like enough. The Antonio Williams had the comeback win against the Gamecocks. Powell sprinting to his right, throwing on the run near the 30-yard line. And hauled in. Deami Brown has the catch and a first down. Brown for North Carolina. Boy, it's, it's nice coverage here. Stride for stride. And the rip comes and tries to break through Sean Charles. It's a nice, nice line for him. Beautiful. North Carolina will run it with Williams. Right side, up that sideline, trying to stay in bounds. And out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Jay Williams. Continue to fight. Again, vision. It's one thing to be able to see it. It's another thing to make it happen. 15th play of the drive for North Carolina. Howell floats it to the end zone. And a touchdown. Carl Tucker has it for the heels. Concord, North Carolina. Well, you, you, you can't stop that run, so what are you going to do? You're going to sell out everybody. i got to help out my guys. i got to shut down this ground attack. And then, oh, by the way, you can also throw a Carl Tucker, and it's just too easy for quarterback Sam Howell. This obviously isn't that air raid Mike Leach that, that eventually they, they plan on getting to. Line of fans to try, try to, hey, we're the brand of, of the state. We're, we are the marquee team in the state. But they didn't quit then. Let's see what they got right here. Open field tackle, Miles Dorn. Nice job by Dorn again. Deep ball from Thomas there midfield. And adjusting to it and making the catch is Thomas Hennigan. So hard to defend. Watch him stride for stride. He's just running with them. Watch those eyes. Those eyes get big, but you got to put the brakes, too. It's a back shoulder. All you can to get back there and disrupt it. And how about that going up top, and it's paying off for Zach Thomas and company here. Six catches, 90 yards for Hennigan. This one deep, middle of the field, in stride. And inside the five-yard line, Malik Williams. Back-to-back -back big pass plays from Appalachian State, and Dorn saved the TD. How about this Mountaineer bunch? Again, it looks like all the momentum belongs to the Tar Heels, and they just come right... That's Evans to the goal line and in for the touchdown. The Mountaineers punch it in from three yards away. Seven of this third quarter in the fourth quarter. You got to hold on to that football. And a good job by Evans, knowing he's going into traffic there, covering it. And Taking another look at it up in the booth. There the nose of the ball is over. This will probably be our best look at it. Look at the surge by the offensive line. Excellent job by the vets up front. And, and that's, that's pretty easy. There's, there's nothing there that, that can have you overturn it anyway. Saw those blocks from Cooper Hodges, 70 James, Bear Hunter, number 51 as well. Late in the play clock, late in the quarter for Sam Howell. Steps forward and throws. Corrales hurdles the 40 and up near the 45. Steven Jones swept him. No flinching, no cramping here. It stands in there strong. Good job. Right up. Easy throw. Easiest throw for a quarterback right over the middle of the field. you got to take it away. You can't let it be that easy for him. And a nice job there. 17 completions in the game for Howell. There's number 18 at the 45-yard line, and Groves stepped out of bounds at the 40. The 18 completions now for Howell. That's a season high. I'm not so sure. I just, just looked to me like they, they got tangled a little bit. It was a close play, and on the next play, it's an interception. 
Akeem Davis Gaither. Over of the game for North Carolina. And just watching those eyes. How about that for the field? Just talked about it over the middle of the field. How easy it is. You got to take it away for that quarterback. He sets up shop in that zone. Last year, when it came to fourth quarter points, minus 72. How's that for a flip? They got to stop him here, though. Thomas decides otherwise. Earlier this week, he said he had to completely change the way he approached football. He had to gain a bunch of weight. He said he also had to run a lot more. Savage is back to punt. Number 39 for Appalachian State. Das Newsom is deep. Good stand by the defense of the heels after the turnover. Daz wants a return. Running down that 20-yard line. Stiff arming around the corner and out of bounds. Situational football. Where are those sticks? Where are they trying to get? Where are they running those routes? Howell on the run. Throws across his body at the 40 and caught Bo Corrales. At the 39-yard line after a 13-yard pickup. First down, North Carolina and Bo Corrales. Fair and company in the middle. Here they come. On third down, Howell trying to run for it near midfield, and he's got it. A major collision at midfield, but enough for a first down for Sam Howell. Nobody trying to slide up in here. All the way as far as he can go to get that first down, and then some. A great job by Howell. The blitz. I'm on third and long. It was Howell who ran for it to get that first down. Wants to throw this time. It is deflected and out of bounds. Snappers, little does the punch. Trevor Collins on the PATs in field goal. Uh, long snap appreciation tour continues. Absolutely. Look at the big plays, the explosive plays throughout the year. Plays over 20 for Carolina, but there's a nice one, right? First play of this drive. And, and now finally lined up. Uh oh. Up the middle. First down and more past the 40. Darrington Evans. It's a personnel. You've got too many guys out there to begin with, and then you have guys in the wrong position, not set, taking advantage of it. That big offensive line, 14, they come into the FBS, won four straight bowls. Oh, boy, if they could pull it off here today, it'd be pretty big for this program. There's a huge play. Speaking of big, nice play in the backfield to drop it, and that'll do it and force a punt. This goes untouched, runs right by the offensive line. Look like Newsom. From the 20 for Sam Howell. Looking to throw. Open man. 32-yard line. And getting away is Newsom. A first down for the Tar Heels. Now, now he's getting a little bit of protection and getting it to him. Howell. Newsom. Back-to-back -back first downs. And he fights his way to midfield. Many of those medium-range balls have, have really been uncontested. This one, that's not the case. Fair's right there. He throws it, just threads the needle, does an excellent job. A great throw and doing a great job after he catches it. He's banged up a little bit as they tend to him on the sidelines. Third straight completion at the 45-yard line. It's Tucker absorbing contact and going out of bounds inside the 45. And he got seven. And there is a flag out. Howell throws it down near the 10. Diami Brown. And he steps out at the 10-yard line. 11 yards on the play. Third and goal, James. Howell grabbed that snap, and he runs it in for the touchdown. The snap was not perfect, but Howell slams it in from two yards away. Touchdown heels. Great job by Howell. Presence of mind, not only to go up and get it. Now, you know what? Play's busted. Let me make something happen. That could have been disastrous. Thomas has room. First down to the right side, and he slides down. Great play call. They sell out trying to shut him down inside. And how about the job by 88? Who wants it more right here, Tom? It looks like North Carolina wants it just a little bit more. No gain on the play for Evans. Only about 40 seconds remaining in the game. So the North Carolina defense holding strong on third and short. 
this Mountaineer special teams unit has done a good job on punt cover and on kick cover. They got to do it one more time now. Shabbat's got it away. Block was on. It's going to hit it the four and bounce into the end zone. You bring three again. You, you, you can't have your quarterback rushed. Here it comes again. Give him time. Step there up. You go. Complete beyond the 35-yard line, Daz Newsome. Got to go, though. Middle of the field, you got to go. Don't give him a freebie with a big penalty. There you go. Deep ball. Caught. Trying to get out of bounds. Inside the 40 was Daz Newsome. That's for one play, and you either go to the end zone or you're going to have to try a long, long field goal. So they are going to try the field goal to tie this game for the Tar Heels. It got deflected and blocked. And on the final play of the game, Apple 